All right. Okay, let's start. All right, can everybody see that? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yeah. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes. All right. Uh, like Brother Renette said, my name is Aaron Moore. I'm here to talk about uh, my college experience. Uh, in a nutshell, not going to go into uh, complete detail. I uh, don't want to bore you all, but I want to make sure that you all get the information that y'all need to be successful when you all reach college. All right, so a little about me. Uh, like I said, my name is Aaron Moore. Uh, I attend Kansas State University. My major is civil engineering. Uh, I'm a super senior. My hometown is Kansas City, Kansas, not Missouri. I'm still a Chiefs fan, but you got to specify that it's Kansas City, Missouri, always. Um, and then I'm an initiate of the Beta Psi chapter. I uh, initiate. Thanks um, I have a couple extra activities that I participated in during my uh, my tenure here at K State. Um, I did one year in the marching band. I played snare drum. Um, the one year that I was in was the best year. Um, I don't know if you all are familiar with uh, the video that went viral, but uh, we had we had, we made a formation of um, the KU Jayhawks as our school rival and the Star Trek uh, Star Trek Enterprise. And we got in a lot of trouble. That, uh, that video went viral. It was on ESPN, stuff like that. So, yeah, fun fact, um, it still comes up in interviews to this day. When I tell them I was in the marching band, they'd be like, oh, was you in that formation? Like, yeah, yeah, I was in that. Um, also, a part of the National Society of Black Engineers at K-State, um, I was elected as parliamentarian for this upcoming school year. Uh, for the past two years, however, I was programs chair. Uh, like I said, uh, uh, part of the Beta Psi chapter. I am currently the chapter guy, right chair, and historian. And I was pole mark for two years. The end of my my tenure as pole mark, we won. Uh, my chapter won province chapter of the year, province guy, right chapter of the year, and national um, guy, right chapter of the year. Um, also, I am a volunteer with en Engineers Without Borders. We are currently working on uh, designing a, a school building for children in Guatemala. Oh. Uh, here's a little overview of kind of the professional opportunities and achievements that I've kind of accumulated uh, here at college. I'm a undergraduate teaching assistant. I teach a program called AutoCAD in our, in our uh, civil engineering lab. I'll be starting an undergraduate research program in August. I've had three internships, one with uh, the Kansas Department of Transportation, uh, with BAC Roads, it's another engineering company, and they call Valley Engineering. And last summer, I studied abroad in Italy. Um, what about social life in college? Uh, I talked a lot about um, Kind of what I what I did um, extracurricular wise and uh, just internship wise stuff like that. But you know, college also has a social aspect. Um, living in the dorms is is okay. I mean, everybody everybody does it. Everybody has to go through living in the dorms. It's a great experience. It's a great way to meet people. Uh, you kind of see that meme that I have in the middle. Uh, you can have an electric skillet in your dorm. Challenge challenge accepted. You know, he has a he has a pizza on the iron with a but a hair dryer, you gotta figure out all, all different kinds of ways to kind of put up some snacks in your dorm. Um, there's gonna be parties in moderate, uh, always remember, you know, everything in moderation, party in moderation. Uh, I kind of got this map in the bottom left corner of the screen. That's kind of all the states that I've been to kind of kick it. And, you know, it's just everything in moderation. You know, parties always be there. Uh, you're, you're going to college for education. Primarily, so just always remember that that's what you're here for. And then, as far as campus events go, uh, we've had a, a numerous amount of speakers and artists come for um, entertainment as well as enrichment in, in culture here at K State. Um, a couple of just to name a few Mark Lamont Hill, 
Angela Davis, uh, The Game, T-Pain came, performed, Kevin Hart, Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. So, you know, just just a you know, little you know, tidbit of kind of the entertainment side of things here in college. All right, so um, lastly, kind of lessons learned uh, as I've matriculated through college. Um, first and foremost, um, whether you're a student athlete or a just a regular student, um, you need to humble yourself, and this this comes into play um, with your with your classwork. Um, a lot of people or a lot of you come from backgrounds where you know you're you're the high achieving student in the class. You're the one with with the straight A's. You're the one where everybody goes to when they have a question. Well, when you're in college, you're in an environment where everybody has that same background, whether you're a student athlete field and you're all the best, all the best athletes, or you're in class when you're when you're with all the best students. And you're gonna you have to learn to humble yourself and realize that although you were at the top in high school, now in a whole completely different environment where you have to ask other people for help, whether it's in the classroom, whether it's going to tutoring, or asking a professor, going to office hours, stuff like that. Um, I know a lot of the times we as black men, uh, and uh, just just another thing, I go to a, I go, I attend a PWI. Um, I don't know how many of you are interested in going to a PWI versus an HBCU, but I just know um, in, in a PWI, a lot of black men they feel like they have they have to know everything, and they. they they can't ask anybody in the class for help because they're they're more than likely the only person of color in the room, and they feel like if they don't know the answer, then it looks bad for it looks bad on them and, and the rest of us. And that's that's not the case at all. There's 30, 40 people in the class, and I guarantee you half the people are struggling. The other half, you need to latch onto them, make sure that um you're studying. Like everybody has their their own friends, right? Everybody has their own friend group, their study group. And if you're consistently studying with the same people that are doing the exact same as you, you're never going to progress. Your study groups should be with people who are doing better than you so that you can learn from them. Um, secondly, balance. Uh, you see that, that meme that I or that gif in the middle, uh, the guy on tightrope? Um, College, it takes a lot of balance. And then going, moving on to this meme on the right side, it kind of shows a depiction of, of what a lot of people think about college. Uh, the top line says sleep plus social life equals bad grades. Well, that's not the case. Pro says sleep plus good grades equals no social life. That's not the case either. And the last, uh, last line says social life plus good grades equals no sleep. That's not the case either. Everything comes with balance and a lot of times it's so easy to get stuck up in like a, a grind mode where you just work 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 and study 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 and you're so focused on you know doing what you're supposed to do that a lot of the other things in life kind of kind of uh, go by the wayside whether that's uh making sure you're eating healthy making sure that um you're staying you're staying right spiritually Making sure that you're spending, your, uh, you're taking time out to contact your family, uh, whether it's going going back home or just calling calling your parents, calling your family, checking in with them. Those things are also very important and crucial to your development in college, and it's very important that you maintain balance. Okay, it's so easy to get caught up and just health wise, you're know, going going to the cafeteria constantly eating cheeseburgers, uh, partying every night. Um, not not studying, partying every night, and and being too tired to wake up to go to church on Sunday morning. It's so it's so easy to get caught up in those things, and in college, college is more than just education. therefore it's more than just education. But you gotta remember what you're there for. You gotta remember that balance. Um, lastly, um, network, 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 network. Networking is so important. Whether it's people in your classroom or people that you meet during um, professional, professional development activities or in other student organizations that you'll become involved in. Networking is so crucial. 
like I said earlier, I'm a part of the National Society of Black Engineers. Um, we have national conferences that I attend annually. And just, just a tidbit, um, when we go to these conferences, I always make sure that I link up with the other Kappas, just like, like it's at least every time I go, it's like 30 or 40 Kappas, and we, we all link up and, and have a good time to a good time, have a good time with each other outside of the actual engineering conference. But um, yeah, that as well, like networking with them, networking with other black engineers, networking with other engineers. Uh, you'll never know who somebody is, and you'll never know who somebody what what they will become until you latch on, network with them, keep in touch with them. You'll never you never know um, what type of opportunities can come up just from knowing somebody. Um, I talked a lot, uh, kind of talked about kind of the, the things I'm involved with on campus and the organizations and achievements and internships and scholarships that I've gotten. All of those were from networking with other people. There is not a single application that I filled out that I didn't already know someone on the, the, the application or scholarship board or know somebody in the, inside the organization that helped me get that role. So what I'm saying is, it's important that you network and utilize your resources with the people that you know. Um, other than that, uh, finally, just when when you go to uh, kind of transition from college or transition to college to the real world, so you're in high school and you transition to college, and then you're in the real world. That's that's you moving from a dependent stage in your life to a independent stage in your life. And everybody develops at a certain pace, but it's important that you realize that going to college, you're in that transition from being dependent to independent. There's nobody to wait for class. There's nobody to make sure that you're studying. There's nobody there to make sure that you're doing what you need to do. So it's very important that you develop your independent skills while you're in college. Um, but yeah, that's all I had. Um, I don't know if you are seniors in high school, moving, moving to college, or juniors and seniors, but uh, college is a great time, and yeah, I enjoy it. <laughs> Does anyone have any questions for Mr. Moore? I do. You previously mentioned a super senior. Uh, can you explain what that is? Uh, yeah, so, um, uh, essentially, you have, you have different classifications for credit hours that you have. So, a freshman would be someone who has less than 30 hours, a sophomore would be someone with less, less than 60, a junior less than 90, and a senior less than 120. Um, I have, uh, my, my primary major is civil engineering, but I also have a, a minor in business. And so that kind of tips me into the scale of having like needing like 136 hours. And so, I mean, it's still like, I say super senior, I mean like I'm a fifth year senior. Uh, some people say super, super senior, meaning they're a six year senior. Uh, so yeah, I just said super senior, meaning I'm uh, in my fifth year of studies. Thank you. Any other questions? Aaron, I thank you. Uh, good job. I appreciate it. So uh, we will. Uh, I have a question. To, do you have a question? Hi. Oh, uh, yeah. Yes. Um, Mr. Moore, uh, explain how you how, explain how you balance between school, partying, all types of stuff. What was your experience about balancing? Um, well, I'd say my freshman year, um, I completely blew it. Freshman year was bad. I uh, spent a lot of time partying, not enough time studying, and I learned from that. It helped me grow as, as an individual, as an adult, as a man, and realized that, you know, this is real life. I'm, I'm burning a hole in my pockets. These student loans ain't getting cheaper. And from that, from that point on, I, I learned from my mistake, my mistakes, and I have I have a strict schedule, strict regimen that I follow. I have um, 
I have a planner sitting right here. I map I map out everything that I need to do every day. Um, start I start uh I take Sundays out and I map out my week. I have it broken down by month. Everything I need to do, everything I need to study. Uh, I'm in summer school right now, so it's it's getting put to use right now. And like I said, school comes first. Um, gotta pay my bills too, so I go to work, uh, study, go to work. And then from there, if I got time to party, then I do that. But, you know what I'm saying, it's, it all comes with balance. I keep a planner. I plan everything out, make sure that I got, I got time to do everything I need to do, and just go from there.